Okay, for this problem, we are given the ultimate strength in this wood, which is 60 megapascals in tension and 7.5 megapascals in shear. We are also given the ultimate strength of this uh, steel rod here, which is 145 megapascals in shear. We are given the diameter of this pin here, which is 16.5 millimeters. We are also given the magnitude of the load P, which is 20 kilonewtons. And then down here at the bottom, we are given the factor of safety for the wooden member, which is 3.1005. And we are looking for the required value of B and the required value of C, which are not given to us. So I'm going to go ahead and write down the formulas we can use for this problem. So remember, we have a factor of safety formula, which is that the factor of safety is equal to the ultimate strength over the stress here. And so now we need to, um, we have this ultimate um, strength here, and then we have this factor of safety. So we just need to find the stress going through the wood here in this particular case. And so the stress going through the wood, remember the formula for this is P over A, and we are given P. Uh, we do not know the A, which is a cross-sectional area. So let's go ahead and uh, figure that out. So we have that. P is equal to 20 kilonewtons, so I'm going to write that as 20,000 newtons. I'm just going to keep everything in newtons. And then the area, the cross-sectional area, so when this um, block here fails, it's going to kind of fail right along this pin, kind of like this. So we want the um, cross-sectional area right there at that point, which is going to be 40 millimeters by um, this part here, B. But really, I mean, when this fails, so it's going to fail right there through the uh, pin. So when this does fail, I'm going to draw what this is going to look like. So we're going to have like a little indentation there where the pin was resting before um, that we don't have to worry about. So this is really going to what it's going to look like when it fails around that point. So we have these two little shaded points here, which make up our cross-sectional area. And then we don't have to worry about this little hollow part in the middle where the pin was resting before. So if we want to find these two um, areas there, what we're going to do is we need to um, take the area that does not include the pin. So what we can do here is we know that this entire thing is 40 by uh, B. That's the, uh, that's the uh, cross-sectional area. But we can subtract that diameter D from B in order to get the remaining area after the pin is taken out. So really what this is going to be is it's going to be 40 times B minus D, and D being the diameter of the pin, B being the entire length of that side there. And so when we plug in all of our values here, 20,000 newtons, 40, and then B was um, unknown. But we are given D, which is 16.5 millimeters. And so then we're just going to simply solve um, this right now. Uh, just simplify it a little bit. So we can divide the 20,000 divided by 40, get 500 here on top over B minus 16.5. And then we're just going to go ahead and plug this back into our original formula and use the ultimate strength of the wood and the factor of safety in order to solve. So we know that the factor of safety is equal to 3.1005 for the wood. We have the ultimate strength of the wood, which is 60 megapascals, so I'm just going to keep this in megapascals. And then we're going to plug in um, what we found here on the bottom, so 500 over B minus 16.5. And then basically solving for this, I'm not going to show all the work, but we get that B is equal to 42.3 millimeters. And so that's solving for B. So now solving for C, we're going to have to use a little bit of a different formula. So we're going to have to look at the um, shearing for that part. So we have a formula called the double shear formula, which you should be familiar with by now. We have double shear is equal to P ultimate over 2A. And so basically what we're going to need to do here is find this area. Let me erase on this diagram what we had before. So we're going to need to find this area here um, up to the point of failure, which would again be right here. That's kind of the point of failure. And so the area there is going to be 2, and then that's just going to be uh, 40 times C because the height from...
the bottom up to the um, area where the pin is. That's C. So 40 times C. And so that's our area there. And then we can tell that the uh, P ultimate is um, also going to be the factor of safety times um, our original P. Remember this formula. So our original P is 20,000 newtons. So we just multiply by that by the factor of safety to get the ultimate force P. And um, so if we go ahead and work this out, that's 20,000. And yeah, that's going to be multiplied by 3.1005. So I'm not going to solve that. I'm just going to plug that directly into our formula here. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So we have 20,000 times 3.1005 over 2 times 0. Point, I'm putting this all into meters. 0 0.04 meters times C. And then we know that our um, our um, ultimate strength of this, um, or our, that's going to be our shearing strength. Um, our ultimate shearing strength here in this case, they give it to us at the beginning of the problem is 7.5 megapascals in shear. They tell us. So we know that um, we're going to set this whole thing here equal to 7.5 megapascals. But I'm going to go ahead and convert that to pascals, which is um, pas uh, one pascal is equal to one newton over meter squared. So I'm just going to keep this in newtons and meters to uh, just for consistency purposes. So our 7.5 megapascals is equal to 7.5 times 10 to the 6 pascals. And so now we have everything in, oh, well, let me just write this down. A pascal is equal to a newton per meter squared. So remember that. So now we have everything in newtons and meters squared. The only unknown we have here is C. So basically, we're just going to have to do some pretty simple algebra and solve for C. And when we do that, we get that C is equal to 103.4 millimeters. And so that's pretty much it for this problem. So just kind of recapping, we used the uh, factor of safety formula in order to find the... Um, the uh, dimension for B, and we did that by looking at the cross-sectional area, and then we had to use the double shear formula to find how this reacts um, when it fails in shear, um, and we did that using the ultimate strength of the wood in shear, and then we found C by doing that, and so that's going to be it for this problem.